And right now, the third trigger input uh, is used for sequence reset. So, if I attach a new clock into this socket, as you can see, it reset the sequence. Right? And uh, it works in every uh, step sequencing mode. Here's a new function in voltage memory. It's a six track gate sequencer, perfect for drum. It's a fourth sub mode in mode one. To write steps, you hold the safe button and tap on the touchpad. The first row of touchpad represent each output. The second row writes rest. So you hold the safe button. You can input multiple trigger in the same step by holding them together. And now I switch to the internal clock. You can add more step. To erase the sequence, you hold the save button for 3 seconds. You can use the pass to mute and unmute the tracks. The upper row unmutes them and the lower row mutes them. The euro functions like external clocking, holding, and reset also works in this mode. And as euro, you can use the fifth node to change the gate length. So there are four different uh, step sequencing modes uh, in the auto mode one. They are the classic step sequencer, which run between any two steps. And the second is the ARP mode. It plays the steps as you press them. Third one, the so custom step sequencing mode. And the new mode, which is the uh, gate sequencing.